Let's start the show with a few laughs and a bit of pop culture. We can all use that for sure. There's plenty to talk about right now in Hot Topics. Ooh, I like that singer. Okay, joining me today are two comedians that call this area home, Richie Armani and Courtney Bird. And plus, of course, New Day producer Susie Wiley, I'm also glad here, to be here, probably to keep us in line. I right? don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe it's for the Big Macs. I, we're all here for the Big Macs. I'm so but curious about the Big Macs. I know. Yeah. You're going to have to wait a little longer okay. because, first of all, I hear you guys are from the area. Who's yes. from Tacoma? I was born and raised okay. in Tacoma, okay. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and did you hear recently that Tacoma was just voted one of the most romantic places mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the country? So, <laughs> here's Tacoma right now. It does actually look kind of cool for Yeah, that. I mean, it's, it's moody. That's it's the tower romantic. Cam there. It has a vibe. She's cute from yeah. afar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you guys are being too nice right now, okay? I, I, I think, no, Tacoma is not what I think of in Washington State. I think Kirkland, beaches. Right. I mean, what? They, I guess specifically they were talking about, is it the Reston waterfront? Okay, the Reston waterfront yeah. looks like Gilmore Girls at Rest night. Okay. <laughs> like, I mean, like, what is going, it's pretty, it's bright, and the rest of Tacoma is like, it's good, it's good, but yeah. I wouldn't call it romantic. Right? No. Okay. Like, You're not holding hands around the waterfront, <laughs> maybe just there? No, I'm like holding my per No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if someone proposed he to me it. at the yeah. waterfront, I would say yes because I don't have a lot of <laughs> options, but I would make one of those. Same girl, same. <laughs> but it's not the spot for that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the so. go-to. I, mm -hmm. I mean, like, there's places, like, I don't know. I used to I used to make out with people at the Matador. Like, is that? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay. See, I was thinking, I've really only been to the MS. SM, which was the, oh, you know what I'm yes, talking about, the sandwich yes, shop, but it's yes. not like I overly mean, fancy. To be clear, the Matadors and Nachos are pretty next level. <laughs> That's, so yes. it could take I, it to I, the I next get, level. I'm getting that. Yeah. You know, and honestly, like MSM, I have a romantic relationship with them. I know. So okay. yeah, I get it. You know, okay. That's a sandwich I'll put my mouth on for sure. And <laughs> talking about food and what you might dive into, um, McDonald's felt compelled to mm -hmm. add two extra patties to their Big Mac. So now we're talking unbox. Feel okay, free okay, to unbox okay. and, and look at this beauty. It's a double Big Mac. And I saw <laughs> online, this is nearly 800 Calories. Freshly made this morning. Oh God, look at yes, they had to like, make a special giant yes. yeah. rice. Yeah. <laughs> Dive in, I take mean, a taste test. I like test. the we bun. The bun is has a little bit of a shine to that, which I appreciate. <laughs> That's natural for sure. <laughs> almost, like, <laughs> almost like a brioche bun or something mm -hmm. like that fancy. Wow. I, I like that you get just like four different burgers in one. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I feel like an influencer right now. I just want to be yes. like, hey, look at this, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Ooh. Dive in. You okay. got to tell okay. us. Because yeah, well, well, he's taking a diet. I should say that they last had this burger in March of 2020. Okay. And then they took it away, and people have been asking for it back. And here so it is. So it was a crowd a, favorite. A crowd favorite. For, so for a limited time, you can get it. I'm just wondering, is it too much? I mean, do we need yes. four patties? I don't know. I feel like this is good for maybe people who do intermittent fasting, and they can oh. only <laughs> eat in a very <laughs> small window of time. Just get all the calories. All the right. calories for your day, your daily calories in one. Okay, what do you think? Well, I'm getting... Um, <laughs> yeah, what are the notes? I'm getting <laughs> hints of um, diabetes. and <laughs> um, no, it's A little it's, bit of heart disease. Yeah, I definitely got that, too. It's good. It's it's a lot of meat. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, is no one else going to take a bunch of I, I mean, <laughs> Going to on break. Yeah. I feel like no, this no, is no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's. Yeah, I'm full. I'm yeah. so full now. I just, I just, it's a little, un, like yeah. unwieldy. Is that the word for it? Things are sliding around. But I do love a Big Mac. Same. This just might be. This, this might just be a lot. Much. Maybe like, I, don't, I would skip fries. Maybe oh, if yeah, you take yeah. this to the Tacoma waterfront, you can share it with someone <laughs> yes. special. Mm -hmm. Speaking of proposals, <laughs> this, this is our Valentine's Day now. Just kind yes. of in there. This is amazing. Would you eat this if a cat was on the counter? And okay. we heard that you have some. <laughs> some I have thoughts. strong opinions about this. Okay, I don't believe cats. Bring be the cat out. <laughs> I know. Right. My cat right. is coming. Frank, where are you? Okay, I don't oh, think. Oh, cute. I don't think cats should be. Oh, that is cute. Oh my God. 
I mean, do you have it, cats? Can you? I don't have cats, but I've lived with people with cats. Okay, and so I, it's an ick for you. It's just like it's not for me. Like, shouldn't it, it be an ick for all of us? Oh my god! Yes. Thank you, Susie. Yes. No, no, I guess my thought is, as a cat owner, okay, okay. I don't understand how you train a cat okay, to that's not fair. like dogs. You can. Yeah. They're like very food motivated. Right. A cat runs the house. At least my little cat Frank does. Shout out <laughs> to him. That's, See, that's so true. he's sitting on a coffee table, <laughs> okay, judging fine. like the glass of milk, wanting the milk. So here's my thoughts on this: is like I lived with someone who he, it's not that he didn't stop his cat from going there; it's he actively encouraged his cat okay, on the that's counter. Okay. I don't do and that. And I was like, we eat here. <laughs> like, what yeah. are we doing? Like, if I walked around barefoot outside and stepped on the counter, would yeah. you eat off that counter? No. <laughs> that's a great point. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Well, I have dog. Yes, a dog, dog and it, people. it sheds. Hello. And why would I? Don't cats shed? Oh yeah, yeah. A lot. So yeah. Then, does. Cats also yeah, walk but they where they do their that's business. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so hey, listen. <laughs> they self clean. My cat's very clean, but yeah. I don't actively like put him right. on the counter okay. or like put a bowl there. Which but. is great. Yeah, I think you're doing everything that you can do as a cat <laughs> mom, and Thank I love you. that. Yes. Thank you. No, as you're as wonderful. As we're as we're right now, you're <laughs> silently or not so silently judging. I know, like, I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Okay, and this is also something that I feel like you posted recently, Richie, on yes. Instagram, talking about skincare and how it's fabulous. Looking at you, I can oh, tell that. So we're we're gonna watch this video <laughs> real quick. My number one skincare tip, honestly, is to just like be Asian. Um, that's <laughs> that is my number one skincare tip. People will be like, "Hey, what should I do?" And I'm just like, "Be Asian, dude. Like, stop being white." Um, yeah, every every day my boyfriend gets older, and I just stay Asian. Uh, <laughs> okay, so is, are so we? So that just, for some hopeless? of us, that's yeah. yeah. We're just gonna have to age. You guys can just convert over to Asian. I've been be, trying. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it works. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Before this, I was just like you guys. I was just a regular white woman. And now I'm just an Asian guy. It's great. You're crushing it. I am loving, and I don't know if you all feel this way, that the younger generation feels very into skincare and what they're putting on their bodies. Yes. Like, Gen Zers are all about, like, organic, like, what's in that. And I, I do like that. So maybe I, I need yeah. to take a they're page gonna, out of their yeah. book. They're going to get to the point when they're 60 <laughs> and they won't care what's in it as long as it's doing something. As long as it's keeping everything where it needs yeah. to be. Yeah. So for now, do the whole organic thing and get your mom to buy you the $80 yeah. skincare. But yeah. later on, you're just going to be just putting on whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just going to. So what are your like thoughts? Like, is it, are you like suntan lotion every day or do you have any hot that skincare right tips? No, I, I do the whole. Uh, yes. yes. Hydrate, sunscreen, yes. those kinds of things. I do think it's it's getting a little out of hand with the the kids and the skincare and they I don't know why, why are you early. worrying about it? When right. I was twelve, I was making little gecko keychains. <laughs> yes. Like you're yes. about skincare, yeah. what's right. happening? Yeah. yeah. Learn to wash your face and I think that's yeah. good enough. Or yeah. don't and, and then that's fine too. Just do what we yeah. do, turn thirty and then get Botox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Unless you're Richie. Yeah, unless you're yeah. me and then I just yeah. I, my routine is I wake mm. up and then exist and that's oh. it. Yeah. I can't wait until you turn fifty and then yeah. just full Mr. Miyagi. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. It happens overnight, you know. Oh, we really? pay for it all okay. at once. This, that okay. might be this is not, not helping. helping. That's this not is not helping. This the is not the secret to you. I think it's like I think the Big Mac and all the proactive I used to use will catch up to me oh, at some point. Oh yes, okay. you guys Girl, remember that? Oh, one hundred percent. When we were burning our face chemically. Yes, yes. the commercial. Not yeah. sponsored. Yeah. Not sponsored. Yeah. Oh, and then, like I said, when you reach sixty, you'll do it all over again. What? All that retin A? I'll be sure. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Don't worry. It's like tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> okay, before we go, because I feel like we have so much more to talk about, we have to talk about both of you have shows coming up. So, Courtney, let's start with you. Yeah, I have a monthly show called Lady Bits. Um, Best name ever. Yes, yeah. it's so fun. It's an all-female comedy show. Um, we do a little Q&A. It's just... It's a it's a fun podcast feel. Richie and I actually used to have a podcast together, and I really liked the just shooting the stuff and you know <laughs> seeing what happens. So it's every month. It's every third Saturday at Halcyon Brewing in Greenwood. I love it. Yeah. And what about you, Richie? Um, I run a whenever I can run it show called My Straight Friends at Hereafter in Belltown, underneath the Crocodile, where I take my straight friends and I have them talk about 
uh, gay culture, and it's very like wrong answers only, <laughs> kind of like podcasty <laughs> format too. It's just a conversation, and then we do some fun games. So, and this month I'm really excited. I have um, another Seattle favorite, Bo Johnson, on it, and a few other friends. Nice. So it'll be super, super fun. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, I love February it. 15th. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. February plug, 15th. Okay, yes. February 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's February 17th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you see both of us in one yeah. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift, who always seems to be in the news, but this time her people and her, they're threatening to sue a college student for tracking her plane. Okay. Have you heard about this? Yeah. Do you think that this is okay? I don't think that this is okay. It's like, Taylor, what are you going to gain from a college student besides right. debt? Like, there's no, what? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, they have nothing. Right. Also, the information that she's suing this poor kid over is public, public domain. Yeah. Anyone can look this up. He's just been highlighting it lately. Yeah. Right. He, this is the same one that tracked Elon Musk. He yeah. tracks a lot of people, but Elon Musk, I think, even tried to uh, pay him off and he said no yes. and <laughs> yeah th it's it is all public information and so. this, this poor kid was like banned from all social media because right. of all of this oh, also wow. mm -hmm. yeah well taylor's lawyers are making it sound like it's a safety issue right. but he's really right. just showing like yeah. hey you use a lot of carbon emissions and people should probably know that yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> well yeah. and i heard isn't it that he posts the next day too not where she, exactly where like be. Right. right but i guess if she's staying for long periods of time but i mean that's the same yeah. as a tour schedule people Absolutely. know where you're gonna yeah. be yeah. true Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing happened, I think, when she went to somebody's wedding and they knew about it in advance and the whole tiny little town was inundated with hundreds of, and maybe paparazzi, thousands of people, yeah. paparazzi mm -hmm. and fans. So I think, you're right, no matter what, they're going to find her. And, yep. and like yeah. her fans are everywhere. And I mean, like right. if Travis Kelsey case. is playing, like, yeah. or yeah. playing, um, <laughs> is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If he's <laughs> doing the There's a big game coming yeah. up. If he's doing the sports, okay, yes. she'll yeah. be there and people will know that. True. She's doing the sports. True. Yes. 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 I think if she doesn't want publicity, maybe she should just yeah. fly coach like the rest of us. Rest of us. <laughs> I did hear that she is selling or has sold one of her jets. Oh, one of so. oh, Wow. Okay. Just, just <laughs> good for her. Great. She's yeah. so brave for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of some other hot tea with yeah. Taylor Swift, the Grammys obviously just happened. Yeah. I have some feelings about this. I love Celine Dion. She won. She went on stage. And when I was watching this live, I felt like there was a very awkward moment where, you know, Celine, we haven't seen her in a while, everything she's dealing with medically. I would just be fangirling so hardcore to be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing to see you. Thank you for this award. And then start with my speech. It felt like she snubbed her. Yes. You Did you, am I alone yeah. in this? No. Like, or am I just... Like, my heart will always go on for Celine too? Dion. I, I, yeah. I felt like, I, my thing is I'm like, okay, Celine Dion is a music legend. Yes. And it's like, Speak on I it. feel like you should, you know, say thank you to someone who kind yeah. of paved the way for you. You know what I mean? Totally. Am I wrong here? Like, <laughs> I, so I don't I see, I know, I don't yes. see it as the way you two are as this snub because if you saw her reaction when she came out to present the award, she was just overwhelmed seeing her. I think maybe she got carried away in the moment. It, maybe she could have been nicer. I don't know. I also think we're on a, we're on a Taylor, even though I just dissed her about the plane, we <laughs> are on a Taylor Swift, you're super high up, we're gonna knock you down. I mm -hmm. feel like we do that a lot to people and she yeah. is our moment, but I mean, I guess I can see where she could have been slightly nicer, but right. at the same time, I also think that they are close and yeah. Celine seems okay with it all. There are also 10 other people on stage yeah. who Taylor's trying to like bring in and give everyone their props. And also, I've come on stage with the bright lights and okay, you have 20 seconds right. to do your thing. You kind of just forget stuff. Yeah. I get it. I'm giving her some grace. Well, and you, <laughs> I love this too. Jay-Z also yeah. kind of turned some heads. He brought yeah. on his daughter. That's beautiful. But he kind of oh, she's stunning, took, yeah. yes, oh God, he yeah. took the opportunity mm -hmm. to, you know, talk about Beyonce a little bit. Yeah. I love Susie's hot take. I feel like okay, they have let's start here. Yes, yeah, let's start here. Yes. Yes. So, so he came on. He won the Dr. Dre uh, Global Impact Award. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well deserved. Yes. And then he talked about how his wife, Beyonce, and it, I hadn't she didn't has never won album of the year she Correct. wasn't up for it this time but it's never won it and she has the most grammys of any and then he went on to just go more and more in um even saying that some of the people in the category weren't even qualified and i just it just it was to me a little cringy when he called her this young woman and i just it's his wife and she stands in her own right of what she's earned and then he went on to 
I just like, like he suddenly has to defend her. Yeah. And I just felt it was a little cringy. But not everybody agrees. I mean, <laughs> I what I saw, in my opinion, is I saw a man standing up for what he thought his wife was owed. And I'm like, you know what? That's great. I res love that. I respect that. And then, like, Courtney and I were talking, and I think only three female black artists have ever won Album of the yep. Year in the Grammys mm -hmm. history. And it's like, how are we not giving that to Beyonce, who has the most Grammys? And then Taylor Swift wrote the same album five times, right. and she gets the... The Grammy? I can see that. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. What? Yeah. Like, it's very confusing to me. I don't understand it personally, yeah. but I stand with Jay-Z. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, th I feel like yeah. a lot of things happen at award shows now where people are kind of speaking up more for things yeah. that matter to them. Right. And I think rep representation matters. And okay. sure. he's, he had his chance to kind of be like, hey, you guys aren't highlighting black female artists like you should yeah. be. I guess mm -hmm. I just, I didn't get that. I got the... Um, I'm, I need to fight this for my wife, and or this young woman. I just when he said young woman, <laughs> yeah. and it then, triggered you, yeah. and you're like, and then just the other people. That's mm -hmm. when I was just kind of like, right. Well, thank you so much for being here. See, we could talk all day. I love really this panel. Yeah, I can keep Maybe going. Maybe this should yeah. just keep going. So <laughs> thank you so much for spending time with us today. You can check out our website for more of our content, and you can always send an email to share your thoughts. Go out and enjoy your new day, and we'll see you next time.